thunderstorms are a weather phenomenon that most people would have to face at some point throughout the year. And whilst there are locations like the UK, where thunderstorms are a comparatively rare event, there are locations around the world where thunderstorms are a lot more common. And there is no location that receives more lightning per capita than in parts of South America, in the interesting phenomenon known as Catatumbo lightning. The Catatumbo Lightning is a weather event that is named after the Catatumbo River that subsequently flows into Lake Maracaibo in northwestern Venezuela. The event can be seen across most of the Venezuelan state of Zulia, where the lightning can strike for up to 280 times per hour for 10 hours straight over a period of up to 160 nights per year. But why is this particular corner of the world particularly stormy? The most likely explanation for the Catatumbo Lightning is that warm, humid air from the swampy plains that surround Lake Maracaibo, as well as from the lake itself, meet the mountains that cocoon the lake. I say cocoon because the area's unique geography is a contributing factor that can explain the active conditions of the area. Lake Maracaibo is surrounded on three sides by three mountain ranges. The Andes in the southwest, the Pajila Mountains to the northwest, and the Cordillera de Merida mountain range in the southeast. Fuzz encapsulating Lake Maracaibo on three sides. This warm air collects electrical charges as it crosses the humid plains surrounding the lake, and the mountain ranges that possess cool, dry air help to mix and destabilize this air, causing towering thunderclouds to develop above, and cause intense electrical activity, resulting in the infamous Catatumbo lightning. However, not everyone is satisfied with this explanation. In 1991, scientist Andrew Zavodsky studied the Catatumbo lightning phenomenon and suggested that the bedrock around Lake Maracaibo contains copious amounts of uranium, which may help to attract lightning strikes, consequently leading to increased electrical activity in the vicinity of the lake. Alternatively, a study conducted between 1997 and 2000 by a group of scientists led by Nelson Falcon suggested that methane produced by the swamps that surround Lake Maracaibo, as well as the region's mass oil deposits, are attributed to the region's substantial electrical activity. This is unsurprising because Venezuela possesses the largest known oil reserves of any country in the world, totaling around 300 billion barrels. Unfortunately, the study failed to take into account the behaviour of the Catatumbo lightning, with the lightning occurring most frequently during the dry season between January and February. Still, others attribute the Catatumbo lightning to the various wind patterns that occur over the northern coast of South America, such as the intertropical convergence zone that when coupled with the mountain ranges that shield Lake Maracaibo, causes the noteworthy lightning storms to appear. Whatever the true explanation of the Catatumbo lightning is, the natural phenomenon has earned a place in the culture of Zulia State. Both the coat of arms and the flag of the state prominently feature a lightning bolt in their designs, symbolising the unique weather event that occurs within the Venezuelan state of Zulia, known as the Catatumbo lightning. Thank you for watching this video about the Catatumbo lightning from MediaJF99. If you have any ideas for new potential video topics on this channel, then comment those below this video. Furthermore, why not consider following MediaJF99 on social media and considering subscribing to the channel to find out more about our world from a British perspective.